After Friedrich Nietzsche, Germany's best-known Darwinist and most fanatical supporter of eugenics was the zoologist Ernst Haeckel. According to his unscientific theory, every creature relives the alleged process of evolution experienced by its ancestors as it develops in the mother's body. In order to support his theory, he made a number of drawings of embryos. However, it would be revealed in the years which followed that these drawings contained deliberate distortions and that his theory was nothing but a scientific forgery. Another instance of Haeckel's erroneous science is the theory of eugenics. He adopted the theory from such names as Charles Darwin, Francis Galton, and Leonard Darwin, and took it further by suggesting a return to the Spartan model of ancient Greece. In other words, to murdering newborn infants. In his book, Wonders of Life, Haeckel proposed the destruction of abnormal newborn infants without hesitation. Haeckel wanted all sick and handicapped people who constituted an obstacle to the so-called evolution of society to be weeded out as a requirement of the laws of evolution. He opposed treatment for the sick, claiming that this obstructed the workings of natural selection. He complained that Hundreds of thousands of incurables, lunatics, lepers, people with cancer and so on are artificially kept alive in our modern communities without the slightest profit to themselves or the general body. He further recommended that a commission should be set up to decide the fate of individuals. Upon the decision of the commission, he suggested the redemption from evil should be accomplished by a dose of some painless and rapid poison. This barbarism, upon which Haeckel built his theory, was to be put into practice in Nazi Germany.